Uh, five dollars. All right. Oh. All right. Thank you. All right, so Raven King kind of broke my uh my overlay. Let's see. If but I'll commentate brands in a. Yeah, there's no game audio. Sorry. Um. So since they're playing with audio, uh, they plug it directly into the Switch, which steals the audio, so we can't capture it. Um, we don't really have a fix for that, because first of all, we don't even really do have tournament of people who uh, use audio, really. Chicago players. <laughs> Try hard playing with audio, taking the audio from the stream setup, how could you? Hi, there you go. I, I fixed the overlay, maybe. Uh... Never mind, I did not fix overlay. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, Raven King is in losers. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to deal with that L. I can't really do much about it. Anyways, Raven King doing really, really well with his, um, it's had a run back. Uh, originally played, uh, Ike in their first set, I believe. Yeah, I think so. So, and it went to game five, but the games that Atata won, uh, were like dominant, but the games, uh, Raven King won were like super, super close. But seeing the Raven King Joker. All right, see ya. But, oh, down smash from Raven King, and he's gonna take game one. King hasn't lost a game in, has won eight straight games. Uh, nine straight games, actually. Nine straight games. Yeah, Raven King is indeed cooking. But Atata has a lot of time to adapt. Obviously, um, is in winner's side. So even if he loses this set, he's still got one more set to win. Um, and I mean, there is a little bit online. Not only is there $300, but the Chicago PR season is ending, um, this month. So this is probably the last, one of the last tournaments. I don't know if TriPoint's going to be going on, but this is probably one of the last tournaments that Chicago players are going to go to. So this is kind of the last hurrah. I'm pretty sure this will still count for Chicago PR too. It's not just like, even though it's in Wisconsin, I don't think it matters because a lot of Chicago did show up. But anyways, Raven King starting it out with a couple back airs, but Atata um, answers right back. Oh, another up air. Another up air. You keep going with the up airs, but gonna get grabbed for that. Back air into... Dude, that was actually a sick combo. I actually like that a lot. Damage optimization. I love to see it. But the Arson's gonna come up for Raven King in the... Oh, that was an unfortunate recovery. Probably just a slightly missed angle there. But Raven King... Down a stock, but not too down, you know, Ness at 78. Oh, never mind. Uh, so that was an SD for Raven King. Unfortunate. Uh, but, yeah, you know, you won a game. Um, win some, you lose some, right? And these players go back and forth. And it's still, you're still not out. Like, you're Joker. It's not like you have, like, terrible comeback potential. That get-up attack was nasty. What the hell? Dude, I never want to see that get-up attack hit again. Ew. That's your privileged-ass character.
Anyways, Raven King with the Arsene, uh, but 144. Ness is living, and he's stalling off stage, giving Raven King a little bit of time to focus, but a lot of time. All right. That was kind of jank, but whatever. Uh, Raven King got the kill anyways. Um, and Raven King trying to make the most out of um, Arsene, trying to get the most out, uh, damage. And uh, uh, all right, all right. Get the better recovery. All right. So Ra Arsene's gone, your main damage dealer. But Joker can still do a lot on his own, like especially drag down. So if you get like a really good drag down, you just keep looping it. I don't know if Raven King is, you know, really good with that or not. I mean, some Jokers are just like insane with it. Um, but it looks like Raven King trying best. F Smash not gonna hit. 89% of Raven King. Now 95 back air is gonna connect. Arsene's almost out. Arsene's gonna be come out. Nice Nair. Now Atata's off stage. But the Nair off the jump. Gonna do it. All right. Forward air not gonna connect for Raven King. But the another forward air gonna do it. Atata off stage. Gonna try to edge guard and back air. Nice usage of Arsene and Raven King. You're gonna try to make a comeback here. 127 currently. Air into forward air. Gone. Nice shield though from Raven King, knowing that he can't overextend. But that back air is so powerful. Killing from across the stage for, for Ness. Now it's 1 1. Probably not switching to Ike, from what I've seen. Uh, and we still have a lot of viewers. 35. Hate this matchup? For who? I'm guessing for Joker, right? I'm guessing this is one of Joker's worst matchups. That's why I say... Ness isn't that bad of a character. People are like, oh my god, this is like, Ness is only like mid-high tier, like top 30, whatever, whatever. I think Ness is so good. Just like struggles against like Sortie sometimes. But even then, your combo potential and like this shit, like, is so good. It's so, Ness is such a good character. So underrated. And that's why a lot of players play Ness. You see him like everywhere. Every, lo every local scene has a Ness. And even top players, like you got Sand, you got Atata. Atata counts as a top player, I'd say. A uh, syrup, um, I think um, gacked, uh, a lot of good Nesses. Um, I think Ness is terrible. I don't see it. The, the kill confirms and the combo potential is just insane. It's just like some matchups you struggle with. But anyways, really even game three here. But Atata answering back another up air, try to go for another, but not able to get those two. But oh, he's gonna continue. But Arsene gonna come out for Joker, and this is where your combo potential is gonna begin. And especially going on Battlefield, Nesk struggles to land that time, floaty, but in the aerials don't really cover a lot of, like, disadvantage. And Joker's just really good in general. But Atata is still able to find windows to get hits in. Raven King at 71% with only a 20% lead here. Back air gonna send Ness off stage. You only have Arsene for a little bit. Using that gun from Arsene... But Arsene gone now, and uh, Atata going on the aggressive, going for that forward air. Nice, uh, magnet shit. Psy magnet. I actually don't know if there's a, mo uh, a name for, like, the movement, or is it if it's just called, like, Psy, uh, like, Psy magnet. But anyways, still sick movement. But Raven King able to take the lead in this game three. Back air not gonna do it. Raven King still off stage. Uppy not going to close it out for Ness, and he's gonna be able to make it back, but... Raven King still not able to find many hits in. Only 0.7% on Atata. Uh, now 8. And it's going to rack up a little bit more. Dash attack not going to do it. Arsene's going to come out though. And this could be a really, really big chance for um, a Raven King to develop a huge lead. But back throw. Man, that's a strong ass throw. One of the strongest throws in the game. And that's going to close it out uh, for uh, that stock. Now back to even. Nice little combo there. Forward throw again, sending uh, Raven King off stage, and that ledge trap. Nice down smash. Covers a lot of range, that down smash. Um, but Arsene gonna come out again, and Raven King really good with Arsene, to be honest. Like, able to find those back airs. 
I've been able to find a lot, but honestly, Arsana is kind of bad for the Ness matchup, especially while recovering. Man, dude, that option coverage was insane. Atata showing why he's one of the best players in Chicago. Actually, ranked number one in Chicago. Now, we're not including Ned because Ned isn't that kind of inactive. But Atata going up 2-1. Win two more to close out this set and win the tournament. Thir Thursday third on 44. The last uh, Thursday third on at tier one. But Raven King does not want to go out with a fight. Raven King playing super hot still. Able to shield that. Not true. That forward smash would not connect. But the up air, up air again. Up tail. Oh, you gotta keep the juggle alive. You gotta keep a, a Ness away from the ground. Nice back throw from Raven King. And Raven King, ni nice lead here. And honestly, hasn't even got Arsene yet in proving that. He doesn't even need Arsene. He's good without it. And wow, Ness, I don't think has a double jump. Has to go up B here. And that's not gonna reach ledge. So Raven King, 56%. Um... With nice lead in this game four. And Arsene's going to come out. And this is where you can do a lot of damage and snowball this lead to hell and back. Even with that down air, back air. Another back air and Atana's dead. He's just dead. And Raven King proving why he's not going to go out without a fight. Proving why he's sponsored by UGS. Proving why he's such a good player in Chicago. Um, These players have been working really, really hard to get here. A lot of people... Came to this bracket. And nice Nair. But Atata kind of down. Uh, down a full, full sock. But it's not out. Like, uh, Ness has some combo potential. Can't get in hits. And Atata is, has proven that, like, he's not a stranger to comebacks. He, he can make them. But holy shit, dude. What are get up attack hitboxes? Why do they hit from ledge? That's insane. But Raven King went really, really deep to try to cheese Ness. But Ness, 90%, not looking good. And it's kind of looking like game. I don't know if Atata can make this back. I've seen crazy comebacks here. But this is not looking like one of them. And it's probably going to go to a game 5. But Atata going to try try to get a Nair tech chase. But um, get up attack. Going to keep him away. Man, that gun is so good. Uh, our forward throw going to send him off stage. But our going to come out. Nice um, rising Nair. Yeah, he is in a little bit of a toughie. Um, but it's okay. He's, he's coming from winter's side. He's fine. He's at 149. He's going to bounce off the stage, but he's going to recover back. Um, Arsene only got a little bit of time left. Nice wall jump. Oh, he missed the recovery. Uh-oh. Raven King, all he needs is one solid back air. There you go. <laughs> there you go. One solid back air. And now we're going to a game five. All right. Raven King coming from loser's side. Trying to reset the bracket. Players really, really good. Tata actually the first seed. Of this event, Raven King, I believe, was for um changing stage, maybe Norfair. Norfair, I'd be down, I'd be so down, actually. That'd be a really cool way, uh, that'd be a really cool game. But oh, <laughs> Kalos, we're gonna see Kalos now. Actually, I'd say, um, correct me if I'm wrong, this might be a really good pick. Uh, this might not be a very good pick for Ness. I think Joker, this allows Joker to recover more. And I'll, and it uh, kind of doesn't give Ness a lot of options to recover. I think, I think the recovery makes it better. But I think in neutral, at least, uh, Joker isn't going to be able to juggle as much. So, with those, without platforms. So, I mean, it's a double-edged sword. Like, uh, Joker gets better recoveries. Um, Ness gets better, just kind of neutral. And it's kind of like where you're gonna be playing. But right now we're playing a lot of offstage. Uh nice wall jump from our Raven King. Gonna Arsene's gonna come out, which is actually not good. You're gonna limit his recoveries. Recovering high, actually. 
not going directly for ledge and he's able to make it back now approaching with a back air another back air because he trying to land on that platform now raven king able to try to go for an edge guard here but atada answering back with a forward air to get onto stage raven king playing a little bit more passive there oh he went really really deep and was able to make it back oh he tried to dude he tried to down me it or rebels guard i think it's called rebels guard correct me if i'm wrong it's not but really, really even so far, Raven King at 120. Uh, back throw, probably going to do it here. And it does. Atata with a little bit, a l pretty good lead here. Um, back here, not going to kill for a little bit. Um, unless you get a really good hit or a really good edge guard, just like that. Um, now we're back to even. So 0% each. Um, both players playing really, really good. Kind of like a really good back and forth. Very entertaining match. I'm glad I get to commentate this. Uh, down throw into Nair. 44% on Ness. But Ness answers back. Forward throw. Alright. Oh, nice empty hop. I love seeing empty hops. Empty hops are, I think, some of the coolest shit in Ultimate. Which is kind of sad. Because Ultimate doesn't really have a lot of cool, like, tech. Um, compared to like melee or other platformers, but like empty hops are so sick because it just puts together like the mind games. But anyways, Arsene doing a little bit of work for Raven King, putting on a lot of damage. That's able, not able to do much. The counter, not gonna gonna stunt his up B recovery just a little bit, enough for him to die. But Atata trying to answer back. I'll be the read. Oh. And man, he's entering right back with a crazy, crazy hit. And he's uh, he's keeping it going right... Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, 70%. He got Arsene, though. Alright, he recovered. Nice recovery from Raven King. Very smart. Oh, oh, he's spot dodging a lot. But back air. He's got to use the Arsene to the fullest here. Get the damage. Oh, no! Oh, he has to... Oh, Atata... Really good edge guarding there. And he's going to win our tournament in a game five. Not allowing Raven King to go for the reset. And Atata, Thursday, third on 44. Uh, winner gets to take a picture with the belt.